Traveller residents of the Kilbarry halting site were evicted by Waterford City Council just over 24 hours after receiving notice to leave last week. Some of the residents have been living on the site for more than six years. I myself, I'm 31 years living in Ballybeg there. I'm a resident there. I'm a councillor the last eight or nine years. And we always had problems with the halting site over the 30, 30 years here. And I felt that uh, we as councillors uh, are responsible for the money that we spent here and I didn't think there was value for money. The eviction comes as the City Council attempts to clear up the site in the wake of last week's violence. If you go back to the early stages there, we had tiggings in the very, very early, early stages of the, of the, the halt site. And the people outside were delighted with it because they had water, they had tiles and the whole lot. And they were wrecked, the copper was taken. And then they, they, they spent an awful lot of money again on the uh, upgrading of the bays, uh, which millions of pounds were spent in. And now, two years ago, we spent over two million euros of upgrading the bays again. And I, I on a personal note, I couldn't uh, both uh, to knock that and to put 12 four bedroom houses, bungalows, which have front and, and rear gardens and uh, a corral there. And I feel that there's no value for money there. Some very decent families here uh, on the Halton side and decent families living in Ballybeg, travellers living in Ballybeg. And I feel like that 12 families, 12 bungalows, four bedroom bungalows, you're enlarging this, the, the, the whole site. Now where we had 12 bays, we were named the Hallinus. And we had situations there over 18 months ago where uh, we had the, the, the helicopter. We had a lot of guards called out of uh, illegally uh, crime being committed uh, in the Halton site. You could see uh, behind me here that the, the last week and a half there, there's uh, two special branchmen, day and night, keeping an eye on things. And I feel like that uh, the answer uh, for the decent people in, is that if you tr try those six four bedroom bungalows, see how that would work, do a pilot scheme. Local councillor Tom Murphy says all residents in the area are feeling the effect of the trouble. Every time we seem to have trouble in Ballybeg through the Halton site, that it's uh, Ballybeg, Ballybeg. Now, there's in Kilbarry, we've Carrick and Ard, we've Temperance Hall, we have lack of wood balanination. I think that we're all feeling the effect of this. And I wish it's about time that we sat down and addressed the real problem. And the real problem is this. Uh, when you have 12 uh, families in the, in the bays there, you had about 20 illegally, outside the bay, we had another 22 caravans most of the summer illegally parked all along the Link Road. That is not on. That's not fair for the residents. It's not fair for the decent families around the Halton site. Tom Murphy says the travellers moving onto the Link Road is not a long-term plan and the City Council needs to address this. Well, I know that I was talking to the, the, the couple of business people over and the uh, and in Ballybeg and they're suffering very, very badly with these caravans being parked there. We passed there on the two, three years ago, we passed the Barcelona Agreement in City Council and where we have people going for a walk, they can't go for a walk. If you have a, any a disability, they're parked up in the path, they're caravans, the whole lot. When they get, when these people get the summons, they move on, next, we have next to flux of uh, caravans and that's something that it needs to look at and the legislation has to be changed. There has to be some kind of a rapid approach for the good of our, our area. Most of the travellers who've been evicted have children in local schools. If you take it uh, on the Travellers Accommodation Plan, we will actually have 13 houses in Ballybeg, 13 houses, one on the Green Road and 12. The other two wards are four and five. Now I think that we have to do more than a share we have a lot of them children are going to school here. The people in Ballybeg accept them. We have them going to our church. We have, and we have them doing a bit of shopping here. And I, I, I think like that we have to have a balance out. And I don't think the way forward is putting too many travelling families together.